The Safe Streets Violence Prevention Program is planning a memorial event for a worker who was killed in a mass shooting this week in East Baltimore. He's one of three Safe Streets workers gunned down since last January. WJC investigator Mike Kelgan is live in Cherry Hill with the latest on the search for suspects. Mike. Vic, no arrests or even a description yet of the vehicle involved in this drive-by mass shooting. Safe Streets has been impacted by violence over the past year from here in Cherry Hill to McElderry Park. And tomorrow at noon, members of the organization from around the city will gather at the site of that East Monument Street mass shooting. The McElderry Park community is still shaken by a mass shooting that took three lives Wednesday on Monument Street, just a few blocks from Johns Hopkins Hospital. The victims include Deshaun McGreer, a young father who worked with the anti-violence program Safe Streets. Both sides of the family, they're hurting. Councilman Antonio Glover is calling for tougher penalties for gun crimes. Making sure that these individuals are really paying the price for what they're causing to our communities. Everybody's just sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I understand it because enough is enough. McGreer is the third Safe Streets worker murdered in a little more than a year. Dante Barksdale, a respected leader in the program, was shot last January. And Kenyell Wilson, who spent years with Safe Streets in Cherry Hill, was gunned down in July. And when you have individuals that have turned their lives around to give back to the street, the Safe Streets organizations, only for them to lose their lives doing their job. It's frustrating. The program uses people respected in the community as peacemakers to mediate disputes before they turn violent. My son got murdered, shot in his head, contact wound. People say, shake it off, God's going to bring you through that. No, that's not what's going to happen. That was an evil act. Daphne Alston, with mothers of murdered sons and daughters, knows the pain after losing her own child. Because when the smoke clears, there's, you know, there's joy that comes in the morning. We're not going to let their children's lives go in vain. It does take a village, and we need the village to come back. And she says we have to treat this violence like a health epidemic and come together and set the right example for young people. If you know anything about that mass shooting, you can call Metro Crime Stoppers at 1-866-7-LOCKUP. Live in Cherry Hill, Mike Helgren, WJZ.